السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته رمضان كريم This is grade 6 science revision هذا مراجعة صف سادس علوم uh, When you are revising you use the هيكل and the book the كتاب وهيكل together for مراجعة The haikal, as you can see, have the safha, page numbers of the kitab. So here you can see 11, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21. So 11, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So all the pages that you need to do muraja'a are in the haikal. And here are some more, 35, 38, 39, 40, 81. And all of these other ones are in the haikal. And that, this haikal is what you use for the kitab. So the haikal also tells you that you will have waraqa, which has multiple choice, yani A, B, C, as well as uh, FRQ, yani uktub, writing section where you write one sentence or two sentences and you will also have a imtihan uh, uh, in the laptop after the waraqa by the waraqa okay so this is your haikal now when you go to the kitab you will see in the kitab uh, all the pages that you were looking for to do muraja so here we start This term two, هذا أحياء أحياء أن كل أحياء هاف خلية. So هذا قانون إن أحياء first قانون قانون أولى إن أحياء كل أحياء هاف خلية. They are made of خلية cells. Okay. قانون ثاني cells خلية come from other cells before them. Okay, that's the second uh, principle. But the first principle, all living things are made of cells. Cells are very small, sakir. You need a microscope to have a look at cells. Okay, and there is two types of microscope. Light microscope, which uses light. Okay, and electron microscope, which uses electrons from atoms. The electron microscope can be two, transmission, TEM, and scanning, SEM. Transmission you use for uh, uh, small uh, structures, part of the cell, okay? And the, uh, and the electron will go through the chalia. In SEM, scanning electron microscopes, You look at the surface, like the cell membrane. So here is an example. Had a light microscope in the uh, uh, yasar. You see red blood cells. Had a chalia in the dam. And we're using light to look at the dam. Okay? So you can see the cell overall. But they are small. You cannot see what's inside. If you want to know what's inside, you use transmission electron microscope using electron. And here, if you wanted the red blood cell in the dam, you want to look at the surface, you use scanning electron microscope. Okay. Now, living things can have one cell. Wahid khalia. Hada unicellular. That means wahid khalia, like bacteria and germs, okay? They are made up of one cell. Here is more example. Paramecium, had a germ, bacteria. Amoeba, it's also one cell, okay? Or you can have multicellular, many, many cells, millions of cells, multicellular, like this mouse, the Bini Adam has 37.2 trillion, trillion, more than billion. The mouse have billions. The Bini Adam has trillions chalia. Okay? And the blue whale, even more chalia, quadrillion cells. 
Okay, so they are multicellular, many millions, billions, trillions of cells. Okay, or one cell, unicellular. Okay, now as we go to the next part, all living things we said before. Okay, how you will know a living things? The living things they grow, they move, they uh, reproduce. That means they make a copy. They are sensitive. They react to things. They grow. They respire. Yani they make respiration. They make energy. Okay. They make waste excretion. Okay. And they need food, nutrition. Okay. And inside the body of living things, you need to have homeostasis. Yani keep things the same. Same temperature. If the temperature goes hot, harara, the body brings down. If it goes buried, the body uh, brings it up, okay, by shaking the muscle, for example. The same with mai. If the mai is too much, you go to the toilet. If there is not enough mai, you feel thirsty, you drink. This is homeostasis, keeping things inside the body the same, okay. Now, uh, cells can be two types, prokaryotic and eukaryotic. Okay, prokaryotic are the original asal khalia. Okay, things like bacteria, the single cell unicellular, they are prokaryotic. Animals and hayawan, they are eukaryotic because they have more complicated things. For example, the difference here in prokaryotic, the genetic material in the cytoplasm. They have no membrane to hold them. In the animal and plant, the nucleus, genetic material, has cell membrane around it. Okay? So prokaryotic have the genetic material surrounded by cell membrane. The prokaryotes do not have that. Okay. Now, many parts of the cell you will need to know. So, for example... A chalia is surrounded by cell membrane, Sur surrounded by cell membrane. Or in the nabat, it has both cell membrane and cell wall. Okay? So they surround the chalia. Okay. Now, you also need to know about the surface area and volume of chalia. Because you need to know something called surface area to volume ratio. Surface area to volume ratio. Okay. Now, if the surface area to volume ratio grows too big, okay, then the cell can't take things inside. If the cell keeps growing, it will need large amounts of nutrients and it will make large amount of waste. So it may it stops the cell growing too big. Okay. Here is two cells, animal cell, uh, hay hayawan animal cell, and nabat plant cell. You can see all the parts inside. They have both nucleus. They both have cytoplasm. Okay. They have cell membrane. They have um, vacuole both. They have... Um, Golgi apparatus here, Golgi apparatus. They have endoplasmic reticulum, smooth and rough. Okay, but the nabat has chloroplast, had a chloroplast. Animal not have. The plant have cell wall, and the animal not have. Okay, so some things plants have, and the animals don't have. Okay. And you need to know what some of these parts do. For example, the ribosomes here, they make protein. Okay. Um, mitochondria, both have mitochondria where, it's made, where energy is made. So all the oxygen you breathe and the, and, the, and the food you eat go to the mitochondria. Here is the mitochondria in the plant there. And in the animal, there is the mitochondria. Okay, we can see the mitochondria in large now. Okay, so how are mitochondria? Okay, this is in 
both Nabat and Hayawan. That's mitochondria. And this underneath Akhtar is the chloroplast. Only Nabat have the chloroplast for photosynthesis. Okay? Both animal and, and plant have mitochondria and they make respiration, energy. But only the plant have chloroplast for photosynthesis. Okay. Now, another thing. When, when cells work together, okay, they, the original cell changes. Cells have particular jobs to do. Here you can see. In a human, in a Bini Adam, you can have a nerve cell. It's a different shape. Red blood cell in the dam is a different shape. Bone cell is a different shape. Muscle cell is a different shape. They all come from one cell. And they change to do a particular job. Cells get together to make a tissue. Many cells together is a tissue. Okay? So what are the tissues? Muscle is a tissue. Bone, connective tissue. Um, nervous, that is your brain and your spinal cord, they have tissue. Uh, epithelial, your skin is a tissue, okay? Plants also have tissues. You can have uh, uh, a surface dermal tissue, vascular tissue, and ground tissue. And you can see plants also have tissue. They have chalia and they have tissue. And they also have organs, okay? Organs are many tissues working together. For example, the stomach is an organ. It has muscle tissue, nervous tissue, connective tissue, epithelial tissue, all working together to make an organ called the stomach, okay? Plants also have organs, okay? So you can have here, you can see the organs of the plant. That's the organs of the plant. Uh, the flower, for example, the leaf is an organ, okay? Uh, okay. And then the uh, organs work together to make a system. So you can have many systems. Uh, digestive system for breaking food. Uh, circulatory system for moving the blood around the body. Uh, respiratory system for breathing and so on and so on and so on. Okay. And so also that one has that. Okay. Let's get back to the uh, book. So tissues become organs. Organs become uh, systems. Systems become a body. Okay. So now you also have joints, three types of joints. You have ball and socket like this one, hip and the shoulder. This is ball and socket. Another joint is a hinge where in your finger and your elbow and your knee is a hinge. Okay like in the door and then the third type of joint is the pivot pivot okay pivot is a joint okay uh, your bones skeletal system they help protect for example the brain is surrounded by the skull they protect the brain soft brain underneath they can also uh, bones can also make a uh, 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 production make things like red blood cells it's made in the bone okay and they can also store calcium okay and then the uh, uh, some animals do not have bones they have water mai this is called hydrostatic skeleton hydrostatic skeleton and some animals have a hard surface on the outside outside exoskeleton exo means outside like insects okay and then you have three types of cells the skeletal which is the muscle in the skeleton three types of muscle skeletal cardiac which is the heart pulp, and the smooth muscle which is your uh, stomach for example okay plants also have these uh, 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 tissues okay uh, digestive system is for moving breaking down the food digestion means breaking food and then it's pushed in a tube the pushing is called peristalsis you make it into a bowl and then you push it in that tube peristalsis that the tube is called esophagus okay and then it moves on to the small intestine where it's absorbed the small intestine has a villi 
which is where the absorption taken into the blood happens in the small intestine. And la finally, the food moves to the large intestine and it's stored before you get rid of it in the toilet, okay? Uh, other systems, excretory system for waste uh, uh, is another system. Photosynthesis, plant organs, uh, leaves is the organ, so it makes photosynthesis and it needs carbon dioxide and water and makes oxygen as waste and sugar as something useful to use. Okay, here is the respiratory system for breathing in, for taking in oxygen and getting rid of carbon dioxide. Okay, and uh, you can see it moves from the mouth to the trachea, to the bronchi, to the bronchioles, and finally, inside small things called alveoli. And the diaphragm is underneath it. What pushes up and down here? Inhalation, diaphragm goes down. Exhalation, breathing out, the diaphragm goes up. Okay. And then finally, you have the eye. Okay. Number one. Light enters the eye through the cornea. Cornea. That's the cornea there. Number two, light passes through the pupil, which is there. The pupil is the opening there, okay? Number three, light rays are focused as they pass through the lens. Here is the lens, okay? The lens is there, focuses uh, the light. And then finally, the light reaches at the back of the eye called the retina. It's focused on the back of the eye. Here is the retina. All over here is retina. And then the information is sent to the brain for the brain to uh, process the image and tell you what you are looking at. Okay. Uh, thank you for uh, listening. Ramadan Kareem and good luck.